my name is Mohades Rajairad and welcome to my channel. As you have seen in previous videos, I just created a biomechanical model of tibia bone, I did the meshing, and after that, I assigned the material in Mimic software. But here's a problem, which many of you asked me via email, and today I'm going to clarify. So if you have a problem importing the file to the Abacus software and you see no material at all, this video is for you. First of all, as I've mentioned in previous videos, go to Files, Import, and Model. It's important to select the model. Then go to the folder where your file is. Make sure that in the file filter you select Abacus input file with INP format. Now choose the file with material. Usually the file's name like here is mesharchive.inp. Okay? On the left side you can see that we have two models. Model 1 is empty, so get rid of it. Click on the plus here to open the mesh archive model. As you can see, there is one part, 22 materials, 22 sections, and in the assembly, we have one instance. In most cases, when you go and apply your loading and boundary condition and do whatever you need to do your simulation, when you submit the job, you see that it is aborted. Probably the problem is from material assignment. So here, go to property module. Considering the color of tibia, it has the material, right? But click on the Section Assignment Manager and now click on Edit. So you can see that the red area has this material. So when you have an error, when you click on Edit, the software will show you a warning and asks you to reassign the section and material to the part. My advice to you is to check all of these to see if you have any error or warning. Mine is doing great, so I will do this for all of these sections. It's okay and all of my sections are assigned correctly. One more time you can check here. These sections, all of them are solid and homogeneous. As you can see, I click on edit. Here is the material. Another thing. Okay, there is no warning, no errors. Your project must be like this no warnings. You can see the material properties here. As you may remember, I had three materials, cortical with 10 layers, cancellous with 10 layers, and the fatty layer for medullary canal with only one material. Also, there was a gray section because I've been limiting my model to a mask. So 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 equals 21 material as you can see here. If you want to check the material properties of each layer, you can just click on edit. Here you can see the density and elasticity, Young's modulus and Poisson ratio. I'm emphasizing again and again, pay attention to the units that you are using. Here the Young's modulus in megapascal and the density is defined in tons divided by cubic millimeters. Actually, I'm using SI millimeter measurement system. After doing this, you probably won't see an error again. But if you see it, you know what to do. Leave a comment below so we can solve it together. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next videos. So if I want to recap, make sure that you are importing your file as a model. After that, your model must have materials, sections, and instances. For each part of your model, you should check materials, section manager, and section assignment manager to see if there's any error or warnings and make sure that every section has been successfully assigned. Make sure to check this for every part in your model. Here I have only one part, tibia. Until the next video, bye bye!